Greetings and welcome to eCraft. In this instructional video, I will demonstrate how you can swiftly transmit data to an Arduino UNO board using a Bluetooth application on your mobile device. We will be using an Arduino UNO R3 board in conjunction with a widely used and affordable HC05 Bluetooth module. We will use the software serial library for Arduino. To establish a connection between the Bluetooth module and the UNO board, we require four jumper wires. One wire is for VCC and another is for ground. The remaining two wires will be used for UART data signals TX and RX. While the connection is being made, it is important to note that the HC05 module works with a voltage between 3.6 volts and 6 volts. Therefore, Connect the VCC pin of the Bluetooth module to the 5V pin of the UNO board. Using four different colored jumper wires would make it easier for a flawless connection. The VCC pin and the ground pin of the HC05 module is connected to the 5V pin and GND pin of the UNO board respectively. The RX or the receive pin of the Bluetooth module is connected to the TX or transmit signal on the UNO board. Similarly, the TX or the transmit pin of the Bluetooth module is connected to the RX or receive signal on the UNO board. Note that the data signals RX and TX are crossed between these boards. It is imperative that the Arduino board is completely disconnected from power when making connections. It is also crucial to double-check the connections to guarantee they have been correctly established and to eliminate any possibility of an electrical short circuit. After completing the connections, connect the USB cable to power up the UNO board. If all is well, you should notice the Bluetooth module's red LED blinking rapidly. To proceed next, you will need to download an appropriate app onto your mobile phone. I personally have an Android device and utilized the serial Bluetooth terminal app available on the Google Play Store. If you possess an iPhone, there should be an equivalent serial Bluetooth app available for download. I must say, I am quite impressed with the app's simplicity and elegance. It has been working flawlessly for me with the HC05 module. However, I want to bring to your attention that in the video, the app was already installed on the phone. If you plan to install it yourself, make sure to perform a device scan to locate the HC05 on the device list. Also, keep in mind that the initial passcode for pairing with the HC05 is 1234. Once you have connected to the HC05 module through the app, you will notice a change in the blinking pattern of the LED on the module. Once the connection is established, you will need to upload an appropriate sketch to the UNO board. I have used the Serial Echo example sketch and modified it. The sketch uses the software Serial library to read the data received on the UART. The sketch also prints the received data on the Serial port. We need to open the Serial Monitor tool from the Tools menu of the Arduino ID and set the correct baud rate. I connect to the HC05 via Bluetooth and send hello. The UNO board shows the message on the serial monitor too. But I get the S key values for the corresponding characters. Therefore, I need to typecast the UART data read to the character type. After uploading the sketch, I will send the same message hello from the serial Bluetooth app. I expect that this time, the individual letters of the word hello would be printed on the serial monitor. Let's check. As anticipated, each letter of the message is printed on a new line. To display a complete message together in a line, I need to make changes in the code. I will create a string called read string to store the characters received in an array. This will be done in the print UART RX string function. Finally, I will print the string variable to display the complete message. 
I will pause here to allow you to go through the modifications made in the sketch. Once the new sketch has been uploaded to the Arduino UNO, we can proceed to test sending messages as we did previously. As expected, the messages are now visible on the serial monitor. This is the first step towards transmitting commands or messages to a microcontroller board like Arduino UNO wirelessly via Bluetooth. In the upcoming video, I will demonstrate how sensor data can be received from Arduino and displayed on a mobile app. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel if you found this video helpful.